What's cracking, Red Panda? Hello. This episode of Making Design Stuffs is brought to you by Skillshare. Ah, <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> okay, window wipers, today we got a real client with a real brand. We're gonna make some maybe seven or eight or maybe a thousand conceptualizations of some ideas for this new clothing brand uh, called Free Candy Brand. It's one of the cooler names I've ever heard. Write in the comments below what is your favorite candy. <laughs> Mine would be bananas. So let's hop into it and we'll explain the project as we move along. So recently I've been getting into Pinterest boarding. It's a very similar concept to skateboarding, except it's a little bit more painful. <laughs> so the ultimate plan is to come up with a cool new trendy splendy logo for a lifestyle slash fashion brand called Free Candy brand that Tyler and his girlfriend are starting. So I asked for some inspo direction from them and they gave some really awesome brands like Stussy, Logic's brand, Benny Gold, Above Millions. And then I've been looking for different artsy ways to format fonts as well as font styles and uh, typographic designs. And one of the most interesting things is that they want to uh, promote a drug-free culture for the next generation. So that, that kind of plays on the whole free candy brand idea. So here's the deal seal. I want to make sure that we have a really good balance of like modern streetwear, a little tiny bit more creative artisticness, and then make sure we can fit in the meeting somehow. I think right now streetwear is mostly about finding a balance between recognizable and weird. So we'll try to figure out where Free Candy Brand lives. So um, I'm gonna get started right now. I'm gonna sketch out some things. So let's go. Okay, so here are a bunch of the sketches that I came up with. I think some of them work better than others, but I think we're gonna flesh them out a little bit more in Photoshop, on t-shirts. So uh, let's go ahead. But I don't wanna get too far ahead because I don't wanna make like finalized versions before I get feedback from them and you guys. So um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go a little bit, see if we can come up with seven or eight, six, maybe six to eight designs, and uh, we'll see where we get from there. So I'll catch y'all in a minute. Hmm, <laughs> okay, this voiceover is gonna be quite lengthy, so strap in! <laughs> um, uh, because we're gonna come up with like seven ideas, I think. I vectorized my drawings as one does, and this was one concept or idea. It's based on the idea of like a, a lollipop. Like, uh, we are the Lollipop Guild. <laughs> if you don't get the reference, uh, you're probably too young. Or, or you don't believe in wizards. <laughs> uh, uh, and then here's another version. I feel like the font that a lot of uh, kind of modern streetwear brands use are just bold, simple sans serif fonts, but they either angle them or arrange them strangely. To give it a little bit more of a, ooh, what's that, a little bit edgy or freaky. <laughs> Not really freaky, but strange look or layout. This, this uh, concept in particular is about, like, kind of those, uh, those things you would slap on a product at a grocery store that doesn't sell well. Like, you just put a free thing on it. <laughs> so, a free kind of a flag was the idea for that one. Also, did you know about this cool trick? In Illustrator, you can shape an object to whatever object you want to make on front, on top of it. So that's pretty interesting as well. And then I made this this swirl based on the same idea of the last swirl. I thought it might be fun to arrange the text around that one. And then one of the um, inspiration on my Pinterest board was a lot like this, kind of thick lines, but, but not really this rough. So uh, I, I am not certain rough is would be too good for the brand. Rough's a little bit too artistic, so I come up with just straight, just straighter lines like this that I connect later. But um, basically this one's all about kind of the angles, so free going up and to the right and then candy, the al revés, the, the opposite. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
So this is a fun concept. I don't know if, um... I don't know if it'll fit in the overall direction, but I, I like it so far. And then uh, you can see I cleaned up all the edges so it looks a little bit better. And then I wanted to play with the idea of having an actual candy. Something like this, a white rabbit or a Tootsie Roll. Wherever you're from in the world. <laughs> um, and then again, finding a good balance between like how much detail and things to show. Because I most of the brands, if they have an icon, they're actually very simplified. And they're not always that realistic. Although Benny, Benny Gold was, they do a lot of... Uh, imagery that's quite rounded and stuff so um i don't know this this isn't really like that but <laughs> i was trying something with candy so i wanted to try just the, this classic layout free up top candy below with a candy in the middle yeah and then i wanted to play with um something that will just be a little bit more basic I want to give a little bit more of a basic option. So we're going with a font, but a, a little a font with a little bit of pizzazz. So you can see the R leg, for example, um, and then just making kind of a box around it, like that. Yeah. So those were the seven options, and here I am putting them on the the t-shirt, the t-shirts that I grabbed and mocked up. So these were interesting because. I wanted to make sure that we put them in the correct position. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I mean, I mean, some of the designs look better at different places. So it seemed like the more simple stuff you could just put in the middle. But uh, I wanted to put, I want to try some pocket placements, for example. And this guy, this guy decided to just make real big, kind of an all over boom in your face, boy. <laughs> what you gonna do now? I got free candy. And then something like this, I think, looks better. A little bit smaller in the corner. Uh huh. Yeah, this one looked cool tilted and making the candy straight instead of the font. I think that makes it a little bit more interesting. So here were, um, here are the kind of seven very initial. These are super initial ideas. What I'm kind of looking for now is I want to ask Tyler what kind of a vibe or feel he's going for. So yes, they're all a little bit similar in their weirdness, I guess, <laughs> but they all have different elements. So like one is a regular, one incorporates a lot of regular front, like the number five and six are pretty regular. And then um, two and three have really custom typography that feel a little bit more artsy or fun. So that's one thing I wanted to figure out in terms of like font, are we looking for something more modern or something more artistic? And then in terms of layout and icons, if they want an icon or not. So really, this is more like to feel out which two or three directions they might like the most, and then I'll be able to go from there. So let me know in the poll right now, which one you guys like. All right, y'all. So these are the concepts that I came up with for today for free candy brizand. <laughs> so uh, don't forget to vote in the poll which one is your favorite or which one do you think has the most potential so far and if that one was chosen what exactly would you change about it if you had to change something hmm all right design champions don't forget to check out the shop for the newest merch the first 1,000 people to sign up in the link below will get uh, 17 months of Skillshare for 25 cents Thank you very much. <laughs> Tomorrow we'll be back with more making design stuffs and we'll be announcing the project that our chickens will be doing for design chicken chicken. All right, booty boppers. Thank you so much for being here. I, I, I usually move my arms a lot. So I'm, I'm trying to be very conscientious of moving my arms. <laughs> okay, so thank you very much for being here. It, it was an amazing experience for me. I hope it was the same for you. <laughs> Stay awesome, possum. I'll see you later, alligator, tomorrow morning. Bye guys, and absolutely best of luck with all the projects you're working on, work today or school today. I really hope it goes phenomenally well.